the MLB wins of the week. And to kick us off, this one, an absolute cracker is this one. The Tampa Bay Rays are 10-0. Crazy. Wow. Unbelievable. Have you seen some of the stats? That, <laughs> like the pitching. The, the pitching is unbelievable. Stats. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's two pitchers that have thrown 13 innings. For an ERA of zero, so uh, Drew Rat- Rasmussen, I, I always get his name wrong, and Jeffrey Springs, both thrown 13 innings for no runs. McClanahan's thrown 12 innings for an ERA of 1.5, and Eflin has thrown 11 innings for a 3.27 ERA. Pitching's been outstanding, but obviously they need to score runs as well to um, – to win games and they they've been getting it done. So. Yeah, and it's not just one bloke either. Like you know, the, the, there's a whole bunch of them that are all hitting. Yeah. So look at today's game it was one nil against Boston. It was a low, uh, low hit a home run in the eighth. That yeah. was the sole sole run. It's not like you're not really expecting it from him. So yeah. different guys stepping up and with their pitching, one run is more than enough. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Their pitching's been outstanding, but as you said, there's, you know, a fair few blokes hitting close to 300. Uh, Randy Azarina, 359. Wanda Franco's playing well, 317. Uh, Brandon Lowe was off to a really slow start, but 292 now, so going really well. Yeah, there's a few others too, like um, I know Tyler Tyler Walls is – He's got he's got tendonitis, I think, in his elbow, but he, he yeah, had right. a pretty good start. Um, who else? Harold Ramirez has been hitting well when needed. Um, uh, was the other one maybe Isaac Paredes or someone like that? Maybe. Yeah, he's up there. Um, he, I think he's hitting two ninety. He's had. Yeah. He's they had were nine hits. They were the Tigers twelve months ago. You know, not not really doing too much, not getting an everyday start. Again, it just shows Tampa Bay. They seem to get these guys that nobody else wants, like even their pitching staff. You know, they're, they're always, you know, rule five picks or they, you know, they're picking up these minor league, you know, trades. Yeah. And they're turning them into somebody's. Like, Maybe like, we'll, we might why? see a documentary How? come out like Moneyball in three or four years' time of, some way that they've, you know, looked at their scouting reports and going, I like this guy, and I think it's great. Oh, they oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's and they're not throwing scouting. money. Yeah. It's not like they're throwing big money at anyone. We all know they're they're not a they're not a big money ball club. Yeah. And that and every year they seem to have these new people come through and they win games. They yeah. win games and then you know, then they ship him off to someone else and they they make these random trades and you think, why the hell would you trade him for these nufties? And then all of a sudden, bam, these nufties aren't nufties. It, it makes you ask questions of teams like the A's and all that, that a similar payroll, like the Rays have never had a high payroll, uh, yeah. but they, they found, I know the A's did it for a couple of years in the early sort of money ball thing, but... Not recently, like they keep turning over players just as much as the Rays do, but the Rays have found that secret formula to make it work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whoever great. the scouts are there must be unreal. Tell you what, what though, they... tomorrow they will lose because I'm going to watch their game. I have only watched their highlights. Every time I switch on a game for somebody, whoever it might be, usually the Giants, they'll lose. So. <laughs> Tomorrow. Do it, mate. They're playing I'm Boston gonna... again tomorrow. So, yep, do that for no, us. No worries. I'm going to have to make sure I get up that little bit earlier than Dave. I was planning to sleep in, but, you know. That's but the Red right. Sox, they've missed Duval. Duval's out uh, with yeah. a busted wrist. Uh, he started well for Boston, and yep. he might have been a difference maker, but who knows. If, was it a fractured wrist? Yeah. Is that, what I, is that what I saw? Yeah. So what did he miss? He'll miss, he'll miss, what, a couple of months? Uh, I think they said six week, six to eight weeks, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
So yeah, two up to two months. Yeah. Just that shitty, you know, it's that not a real good spot being on the wrist hitting and stuff like that. You get one that jars and you know, yeah, yes, he could be in all sorts. Yeah. yeah. What about this one, fellas? This was uh, pretty cool to see. The uh, yeah, it's it's hard to explain this one, isn't it? The Chattanooga Lookouts seven beat the Rocket City Panda Trash Pandas five with a no hitter. All right, so no hitter, <laughs> but wait, a seven five loss. They led three nil with the bases loaded. Walked in a run. There was a drop fly ball that brings in three. They then hit the next three hitters. And then a wild pitch made it 7-3. Then the Rocket City scored two more in the bottom of the inning to make it 7-5. It's just a whole lot to unpack here. What is going on? That's why you love baseball. You love baseball. You look at that and you think, how the hell can that happen? But it does. And yeah. that's the beauty of the game is that you you look at that and you think, how do you score seven runs with getting no hit? Yeah. That is called if, falling, falling apart. Mate, if you walk somebody and hit the next three batters, though, even if you're on a no hitter, would you not bring him out? What's going on there? You have like, to. Yeah. yeah, it would have thrown, like, that's it. Like, you hit him, you're in the seventh dig, so your pitch count's getting up already. And yeah. if you hit someone, then walk the next few, like, there's there's at least a dozen pitches. There's at least a dozen pitches thrown. So you'd be at close to or past your limit. And if you've done that, I'd be saying, thanks, mate. Give us a ball, pat him on the bum, off you go. Great yeah. game. Well, yeah. What did you say, that you, you said it was loaded bases in a a dropped, a dropped fly ball or something. Yeah, dropped fly ball, and they scored three off that. No, so I know months, he's a, like you say, I know he's on a no out. hitter. I know he's on a no hitter, but you're up three nil, and you load the bases, and obviously it wasn't a hit, so it's either errors or walks. Like Dave, I said, he's already gone. He should be yeah. already gone before yeah. the before the dropped two out fly ball. To score Absolutely. runs and then and then to go on and walk a guy and hit three, on top of that, yeah. He, Interesting. He should, have, he should have been well gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I would yeah, have had him done. I would have had him done a lot earlier than that. Three run yeah. game as soon as. To be honest, three run game as soon as that first run is on, I'm probably probably pulling him. You know, it might be harsh, harsh but handle, but... might might be, mate. It's... He probably enjoy. It. He probably would have enjoyed it if you're pulling him. <laughs> I'd say so. Most blokes do. <laughs> mate, well, you are talking to the guy that will get you off the mound down there, Davo, in third grade for Toronto Tigers. Get you off he... the mound or off on the mound? Uh, either. Okay, I hope mate. we don't see it. That's all I want to say. <laughs> Save those eyes. A, another interesting stat I heard uh, this morning. I was uh, driving up uh, Cessnock Way this morning and I was listening to the MLB and this little stat comes through. Judge got a walk uh, and he's been on base for the last 43 games. In those last 43 games, he has an average of 383. Pretty impressive. So that dates back to about August last year of uh, Judge dominating. Mm, it's not bad, Crazy is numbers. Uh, I did see it also somewhere today reckoning that he's on target for 71 home runs this year. So, How many has he hit? Uh, four or five. He may have hit oh. five. Uh, it was two... Was it two yesterday or two today against Baltimore? But yeah, I thought he was around no, the was, four. Wasn't today. It was yesterday. Yesterday. Today yesterday. They had Oakland. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm not sure. I'll have a quick look in a second. Yeah, but home, I think home runs. Let's have a look here. I think it's home fine. runs, mate. He has, and he's got four, mate. I mean, how many is Alonzo and bloody Brian Reynolds going to hit? They've both got five. Devers, Duval, Wanda Franco. 
Judge, Luis, Robert all have four. And then you move into the threes and it's half of the MLB. Franco <laughs> got four. That's, That's pretty impressive. That's what I'm looking at right here. Four home runs. Yeah, nice. That's good to see. Well, I'm just happy with, with, with Adley with his little, little three home runs. Yeah. He's on fire. Yeah, Could be a big not... year for Pete, though. You're yes. coming up yeah. right now. This one. Big Pete. Mate, he's hit five, as you said, Dave. Polar Bear is now the fastest player to reach 150 home runs in MLB history. That's unreal. Love and, it. and you think he's had a probably a couple of quiet seasons. Yeah. Where he hasn't really been at his best. Mm. Well, I, personally, I don't think anyway. He had a, I hope he, really he comes through season. this year. I'm, um, I'm sitting on a fair few of his rookie cards, so I hope he comes <laughs> good. But, uh, mate, he's great to watch. I like his swing. Um, and for the last couple of seasons, I've watched a fair bit of the Mets. And, yeah, you, you're right, Randall. He hasn't done a, a, a great deal the last couple of years, but he started off with a bang this year, that's for sure. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's awesome to see. If he gets the hitters around him as well, like if Lindor does well, it's like he may have had quiet seasons because he hasn't had the hitters around him for that protection. So yeah. the pitchers have been able to sort of work him a bit better because there might be no one on base in front of him. So um, you don't know. Like could be factors like that. So hopefully the Mets have got some hitters around him so that they have to pitch to him more. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. 100% agree with that. He's uh, It's definitely been solid to watch. And it's also good seeing hitters not having that shift this year. I think that's made a bit of a difference in uh, the way these bigger names are getting pitched at as well. Um, it's definitely going to take that into consideration. They're, they're trying. Like you can see so often that that shortstop is nearly right behind uh, yeah. second base. But... What was it today against the Padres? Two swinging bunts down the third oh. baseline that just both stayed fair somehow. I, I yeah. think the first one was an actual bunt. Yes, yeah, sorry. The first one was, one was, an, actual, was an actual bunt. Yeah, and the second one, mm. a swinging bunt. Both exact same spots. Um, it, and also it, Mets. It, it was the it Mets was, against the Padres. So. And when you watch that ball too, you know, you just roll back in, hit that lip of that grass and start to go back to that foul line. It's like, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Tell you what, they must have had a nice little mound made of chalk because got to that chalk and just just sort of couldn't get up and over it. So it was unreal. I love it. Wasn't it? I was waiting, I think... waiting for somebody to get down and blow the ball over the foul yeah. over the foul line. Get the old John Cruck. Um, <laughs> I think Juan Juan Pierre used to every ground he used to go to, he used to sort of walk out there and roll baseballs down both foul lines to see how the dirt played. So if he was to lay down a bunt, whether it would stay fair or go foul. So you love little things like that. You love people yeah. seeing, see people do that stuff. Yeah, Next you can see they're thinking about it. Hmm. Yeah. But as, an, as an opposition team too, like that puts something straight in your head. You're playing third base or first base and that, that, that bloke comes up to hit and it's like, oh, am I in on the grass? Am I holding back or where, where, what am I doing here? What's he going to do? Is he going to try and put a sneaky one down or? Yeah, yeah it's good. I like it. Yeah. Mind games too. It is good. Randall, this one's for you, mate. This was uh, down there. The Baltimore fans would love this one. I loved it, mate. I was, I was excited. I was watching this game. First inning home run from Mountcastle. Come home and I was waiting for the uh, the big chain to come out for him to put on the chain, the home run chain. And he went down the dugout and I was like, well, where's the chain? What are they doing this year? And boom, out comes the old funnel. The old beer bomb. Love it. <laughs> Disappointed though that they're only putting water in there, but mate, yeah, that was unreal. Dirty water, mate. It's, 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 yeah, it I was going to say it's a water. dirty water. <laughs> if it was me, it'd be dirty water anyway. I'll might tell you what, off suggestions. We but, may yeah. have to Im implement this one for uh, anyone that hits a single at Toronto in third grade, I think. Anyone that hits a single? Yeah, just a single. Oof. Yeah. How about if we just get on base? Yeah, that's it. 
That'll do. I, hey, if when you, you haven't get first base, it, you have to chug a beer. You get to second base, <laughs> you got to chug a beer. It's like, hey, we know how to play softball. Uh, <laughs> plenty of beers getting chugged for you, blokes. You know, you got to get on base to chug that beer, though, Dave. Eh? I got on base, mate. Randall's up there. We, what did you have, Randall? Two hits? Three hits? Uh, oh, mate. That was two remember. weeks ago. I can't remember that far back. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was two hits. Oh, fair enough. I, I got if him you, a walk to load up the bases for a Grand Slam opportunity. Didn't happen? Yeah. No, I just, just a little served one back open the centre field, mate, for a couple of RBIs. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, well, that closes out our MLB wins of the week, uh, new segment, and uh, we're going to continue straight on with what's happening in the MLB because we haven't talked about it enough. It's been unreal having the MLB um, back and watching plenty of baseball. Um, if you didn't see that um, Adley Rushman home run, go and check out the shorts, um, Sports Rewind shorts on our YouTube We've got that one, um, but we've also got Polar Bears home run and we've got different bits and pieces up there, so go and check them out. 